Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Basement Card Collector. Today's video is going to be a TTM return video. Our 48th TTM return video for the channel. In this episode, we're going to open up three new envelopes. If you're new to the channel or new to the hobby, TTM stands for Through the Mail Autographs. We send out cards to our favorite players and actors and athletes. Check the mailboxes and see what comes back in the mail. And it's sometimes it's a quick process and sometimes it takes a little while. And today's video will be a good example of just some come back quick and some and some do not. Joining us today on the show on the stage here to the left is Mr. Andre Dawson on the 89 Tops. Love the Cubs and love Andre Dawson. I also have collections of the Indiana Hoosiers. You can see Mr. Mike Woodson there as a player. He's also the current basketball coach. Mr. Peter Tom Willis of Florida State 1990 score. I am a Florida State football fan. I got Mr. Peter Tom Willis for the FSU collection. And just a really cool Bo Jackson card. I mean, come on, how cool is this? One of the coolest cards ever. It is not signed, but it is just one excellent card with the two letters on the back. That's all you need to know. 1990 score, Bo Jackson. TTMs, here we go. We have envelopes that come in the mail, and I do trim the corners, and I don't know who exactly they're coming from and so what we have here is just a card that i cover up the address for this is a past success mr juan gonzalez on that upper deck art card love to get those signed if they can but juan gonzalez was a big home run hitter from the 90s um mvp winner I, so he just fits a couple of my collections here and the cool thing about this is this stamp is not marked and the stamp was not used but it was mailed and it somehow made it through the system and back to my mailbox. And let's take a peek and see who we have coming from parts unknown, they say. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, um, here we go. We have Mr. John Edwards on our unmarked envelope. And we sent out to Mr. Johnny Edwards a few weeks back. I'll check my records in just a second, but he is just in my, I would call my vintage collection. This is a 1974 tops for the Houston Astros. He was a catcher, he signed that one. These were the only two plain days cards I have of him. So I sent a 73 and a 74. This love those uniforms, uh, the catcher's position, he's down. No gear, but here he is in the cage. Looks like someone's back there getting some swings in. And then I've also have been sending. Let's put the let's put that 73 on top, shall we? And then I've also been sending out um, a team sticker. And I'm working on a collection of these as well. Trying to get a team photo, sorry, a team sticker signed by at least one player from all of the teams from those early 90s Fleer sticker, I'm sorry, those Fleer cards. Here he is on the Houston, with the picture of the Astrodome, the Houston Astros, back when they were in the NL Western Division. And for those of you that TTM, Mr. John Edwards, Mr. Johnny Edwards is also known to do this. Check this out. He throws in his own photo. Look at that. Cardinals catcher. We're going to bump this sticker back. Sorry, Houston Astrodome. Mr. John Edwards signed my two plus the sticker and then throws in this excellent. Oh, my word, how many are in here? The Cardinals. Here he is, Jason. Best wishes, Johnny Edwards with the Astros again. And I see one more poking out. Oh my word, John Edwards. There he is with the Reds, the Astros, and the Cardinals. All extras, all bonuses that this former big league catcher does all by himself. Let's see if we can do this. I'm going to cover up the cards, but I want you to see the coolness that this TTM hobby can. Just a great, great return. 
let me see if I can see when we sent out to Mr. Edwards here. We sent June 16th to John Edwards. And like I said, the stamp, the envelope here was not marked. So I don't have marked on when it came back. But I did send him three cards, those two tops and the sticker. So we sent out three things and have six autographs from the vintage variety collection of Mr. John Edwards. Wow, that is awesome. What a great start from Parts Unknown. Okay. How do we beat that? I don't know. I do have, <laughs> I have two more envelopes here. Let's see what else we have here. This actually is marked Santa Clarita, California. Coming back on June 23rd. And we've got a really cool, speaking of my vintage cards here. This is a Don Kissinger um, All-Star card. Great TTMer, great Cubs. So he, this card would fit two of my, my collections. Love getting cards from the Cubs signed. Love getting vintage cards signed. And he kind of hits them both here. So Don Kissinger. And return number two for this 48th return video. You can see here he actually put his name here. So I do know who this is coming back from. And it said, what do we say? June 23rd. And I also sent this Re this request out on the same date as Mr. John Edwards. So this is coming back. And he put a little note down here if I can peel this up just a tad. It says, bring God back to America that he put a little extra on the bottom. So this return, let's see if we can get it out of here. This is a packed envelope. Wow. I'm gonna have to cut the envelope out. Wow, what is in this thing? Oh, he sent my note back. Aha, I see. Sent my note back as some extra, extra security of the things traveling through the mail system. Let's see. I do see the cards, folks. I'm just having to do a small surgery over here to get it all out. All right, sorry about that. Oh, my Wow, this is amazing. Okay, return number two. If I can get it all out of here and not dump it on me here, it says... Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's just start with what we sent here. Okay, along with the note, and I asked them questions and just usually make it a personal connection between me and whoever we're talking to and sending to. We sent to Mr. George Culver. And again, on this 1974 tops, just like the John Edwards, there's some similarities in this return and more than you know. He also signed the Philly sticker and the red sticker. And here he is on those Phillies. And the reason that I had, I'd sent to him two reasons. One, Here's my vintage card, George Culver. Thank you, sir. My stickers, excellent. Two more for the teams. We're gonna double, let's put that reds on top. And my playing days card, I think I might switch to John Edwards just to team him up here on that 74. 74 Culver, 74 John Edwards. And my goodness folks check out what came in that envelope this is like the mother load of all okay so he signed the three cards we sent him three cards also on june 16th so one two three he signed an index card george culver 72966 no hitter george culver mlb 66 to 74 japan mlb in 75 how about that so that's his last year in the big leagues. And then he played a year over in Japan. We're gonna come back to this index card here in just one moment. Oh my word. Guys, check out what else is in this thing. He stuck in a 69 tops-ish looking giant card with the reds and he mentions his no hitter. So not one of those. He stuck in an Astros card with its inscribed 70 to 72. Oh my gosh. 
Look at this. And a 1970 variety of the Cardinals version. <laughs> Look at this. 1967, I mean, they're all jumbo, huge cards, but he signed his side. Here's a Jose Vidal, 67 rookie stars, and one more. Here he is on the Dodgers squad. So he added and stuck in five huge jumbo cards, just like Mr. John Edwards. I don't have room to put all of those up, doggone. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna combo Okay, let's see if we can get a couple of these up here just to kind of share the wealth, if you will. So, Mr. Mr. George Culver, and I'm gonna zoom in on this one for just a second. Here he mentioned his no-hitter. And I have since started sending out one more little collection we're going to try and kind of put together, the no -hit, the no-hitter club. We got back the other day Mr. Dick Bossman still have him out on the 76 tops and on the back of this card it mentioned his no hitter and I asked him a question a couple questions about his no hitter and I did the same thing for Mr. George Culver and in my note I asked him a couple questions did you have anything that day did you know something was something was up that day and you knew some kind of history was about to happen and in my note he says if um I said, hey, I have an email. If you wanted to shoot me an email, I would love to talk to you about that day, about that game, your career. And he wrote back on my note saying, it's on the internet, George Culver, no hitter. A I did a long interview already. So I think I'm going to look that up and see, because I just have to believe being a big league pitcher and later on, folks like me sending cards through the mail to get them signed, he's probably been asked that for more than once. You know, and so he did a recording on the internet. I'm gonna look that up later, but wow. So we sent out three cards. We ended up getting back five with the index cards. He sent five jumbo cards, signed them all. Wow, I don't know if I should open up. I have one more return here that I need to open up, but I don't know if I can handle any more. <laughs> on this on the stage here on the desk and we get any more cards on the on the camera we're gonna try it out I do have three coming back here June 26 from Florida st. Uh, Tampa st. Pete it looks like and here we have a TTM return from mr. Craig T Nelson better known in my mind as mr. Hayden Fox Minnesota State Screaming Eagles head coach he also signs through the mail we got this back a few months ago Let's see what we have from Tampa. Final return for the 40, 48th TTM return video coming back from, wow, <laughs> this is so cool. And I see this card on the front and I know what we're talking, Mr. Daryl Knowles. Here he signed the 78 tops for the Expos card. And I sent, oh man, 73 for the A's. It's got a huge bang corner up there. Not even corner, top half, you could say. Here we are. Oh, baby, check out the 75. And he signed the 76. Whew. Okay, Mr. Daryl Knowles, we actually sent him in the batch right after Culver and Edwards. He went out on June 20th. June 20th. Wow, June 20th, and we got him back June 26th. So in six days, we picked up four of four. We sent four, and he signed all four. So the reason we sent to him, for a few reasons. You can see here the Cubbies. Let's put that 70, well, okay, let me go back. The Cubbies collection, love getting those, of course. This would be on the teams that just aren't there anymore, the Montreal Expos. I've sent out a couple other cards like that, just those teams that aren't there, that aren't here anymore, and so we're gonna add him for that. And on the back of the 73, I believe, which one was it? 70. One of these cards. 
right here. He has a cool little record of his own. He was the first player ever, if you can see that bottom line on the 76 tops, he was, the, he was in all seven games of the 1973 series with the A's. And so I am really big into trivia. And those of you out there, if you're familiar with this, this app or um, it's on baseball reference, it's called the Immaculate Grid. I encourage you to check that out. If you want me to send you a link, just leave me a message. It's a daily trivia with players who play for certain teams and then you can dig down into a different wormholes of different stats and different people well one day i read this and he i just i came across him and i thought that's a very cool stat to appear in all to appear in all seven games that's the reason i sent this card him in the a's and so it's just kind of a cool thing to be the first to do something so two cubbies an expo and my Daryl Knowles fits a few different categories in my collection so wow <laughs> I could all that's all I can say wow great returns all three players I'm gonna say are vintage returns they also fit a couple other uh, smaller collections that I'm working on. My No Hitter Club, thank you, Mr. George Culver. Mr. Daryl Knowles, my Cubbies from the 70s, and he also was the first to appear in all seven games of a World Series. That's amazing. We had a couple of our sticker cards in the back, and George Culver and Mr. John Edwards, thank you for the extras. My goodness, that's amazing. You took the time to do all of those extra things for a person writing you a letter from here in the worldwide headquarters of the basement card collector and for those of you out there watching thank you for sticking around our 48th ttm video that's a lot and i enjoy doing it and love interacting with you folks out there so thank you for watching and we'll see you next time